This movie will teach you how to customize the Joomla Ski Club template. Before you start, you will need to log into your Joomla admin panel first. Once you log in, go to the extensions tab of the main navigation bar and select the template manager. Now you will see how to replace the current Joomla template with Ski Club. The current template for your Joomla site can be recognized by the star icon. To do this, select Ski Club from the list of Joomla templates already installed in your admin panel and click the default button. The next thing you need to do is click on the name of the template to go to in the Edit Template panel. To start customizing the template, you must click the Edit CSS button in the top right corner. First, check to see if you have the permission to edit the template. If it says unwritable for the template CCS file, then you do not have any write permissions. To edit your permissions, you need to open an FTP client of your choice first, and then start an FTP connection by clicking the client connection button. Now look at the right section of the FTP client where the Joomla installation folders are and browse to the Joomla 1.5 folder, then to the template folder. To finally open the Ski Cub folder, and select its corresponding CSS folder. In the CSS subfolder of the Ski Club template folder, browse to the template CSS file, right click on it and then select properties from the options menu. In the properties panel, set the necessary write permissions manually and hit OK to apply all the changes. Now go back to the edit CSS interface in your Joomla admin panel and refresh your browser to see the unwritable status of the template CSS file change to writable. Then select the template CSS file and then click the edit button in the top right corner. This is the whole source code for the Ski Club template. Learning how to edit this file, you will be able to customize absolutely all visual elements of your template's layout. First customization option is to change the page alignment of the template. To see the default page alignment, click open the preview link in a new tab. As you can see, the current template alignment is centered. If you want to change the default centered page alignment of the template, locate the page selector using the search function or your current browser and delete the margin property line. To confirm your new page alignment, click the update button. Now go to the template preview page and refresh your browser. This will make the template's position change from the center alignment toward the left side of the screen. If you want to change the centered alignment, go back to the CSS file and search for the page selector using the search function of your current browser and paste the margin property line with the value 0 at the end of the page block code. Click the apply button to confirm your update. Open the template preview page and refresh your browser to see the template's position change from the left side of the screen aligned to the center. Now you will see how to change the link color of the template. First go back to the Joomla admin panel and then search for the A-Link selector in the CSS file. Using the color cop tool, select a suitable color for the links. In this example, we have chosen to use the red color. Copy the code from the tool and paste it into the new value for the color property of the A-Link selector. When you are ready with the new links color update, simply click the apply button to confirm all changes. Again, in the template preview page, refresh your browser to see the text link color change from the default orange color to the newly set one of red. Go back to the edit template panel to change the color of the mouse over links as well. Locate the A hover selector, generate a link color and paste it in as the color property value. In our example, we use the same color for the normal and for the mouse over links. 
Open the template preview page and reload your browser to see that the links in red do not change when we mouse over them. Now let's see how to change the colour of the left column links. Go back to the Joomla admin panel and locate the left col link selector in the CSS file through the search function of your browser. Again, using the color cop tool, generate the preferred color and then use its code as the color property value. In this example, we have chosen to set the red color as it was previously set for the regular layout links. Now go back to the template overview page and reload your browser session. Then pay attention to the left hand links of the template to see them turn from orange to red. Next let's see how to change the background colour of the template. Go back to the CSS file and search for the page selector using your browser search function. Again, you can take advantage of the Color Cop tool to generate a color for the template's background. Experiment with the tool until you generate the color that suits your template's color scheme the most. In this example, we replace the dark gray color background with white. When ready, copy the color code and paste it into the color property value field. Apply the changes, then refresh your browser on the template preview page to view the newly applied background color updates you will see the default dark grey colour background has turned to white. The next customization option is to change the header colour. Now go to the CSS file and locate the H2 selector. The H2 selector refers to the big titles on the template. With the colour cop tool, generate the preferred colour code and paste it in as the colour property value. In this example, we use the same colour for the template header title as for the colour of the links, which is red. To apply all the new changes, click the apply button. Now return to the template preview page and refresh the browser. As you can see, the colour of the main title of the template has turned from orange to red. The last customization option is to change the text size of the template. In the CSS file, locate the body selector and then replace the font size property value with the new custom value. Here we set a bigger size value. Again, click the apply button and then return to the template preview page to see the changes as they will appear online. In our example, the font size will increase since we have set a bigger value. Here is a summary of all the customization options for the Ski Club template. To save all the changes you have made so far to the template's layout, you must go to the Click and Save button located in the top right corner of the Edit Template panel. Well that's it, now you know how to easily customise the layout of the Ski Club template.